everyone. This is Carrie again. I'm back to share with you my finished, or almost finished, um, book that I've been working on for three days now. Uh, I used a lot of embellishments, but not um, all of the pages are embellished because I tend to add more embellishments and stuff as I've added more pictures to it. Um, I believe I'm going to be using black and white photos for this book because of the um, color in the book itself. I really think black and white will make it really stand out. Maybe even adding a little bit of sepia. Uh, that would help it out a little bit too. Um, but this is the ribbon. And I added some little fibers. Sorry, it's blurry. And you can see I added a little bit of beads. There's some silver beads and some glass beads and some natural beads. This is the binding. Ooh, it's blurry. Okay, and now I'm going to take you on a walk through the book. So the front of the book is going to be a dedication page. So uh, when I finish adding all of the pictures and stuff to the inside, I'll put a little... Um, tag or something on here dedicating it to whoever it's made out for. Um, this is the first page and I just put a piece in the middle right here and tore the edges. A lot of the edges, actually every edge of this book, every edge of the page um, throughout the book is torn and distressed with antique linen ranger ink uh, just to give it a nice old world feel. Um, I stamped snowflakes from the Vintage Santa set. And then this is the script. Um, st stamped with... Uh, that's actually from Backgrounds to Build. No, Background Soup. Sorry. And I used a uh, Memento London Fog ink for a lot of this. As well as the Antique Linen. Those are the only two colors of ink I used so far. Now this book has some pockets to it. So every page has either a pocket that opens like this and has a tag that inserts. And then there's either pattern paper on it or something else. So I just glued the edges of the pages to create pockets. This is the second page. Again, I'll add more pictures and details to the inside. And this is the tag that's on that one. And I used um, an old set, a uh, scrapbooking set that says Christmas Thoughts on it. And that's the back of the tag. Alright, now this is an accordion type fold book. So I'll put, I can put one, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six pictures on this one. Just mat them and frame them and put them, put them back to back and you'll have six pictures. Again, this one has a tag that comes out the side. And that sentiment on there. And then you have this one. And I distressed uh, this white piece ribbon. It has silver piece written all across it with some bells. And I distressed it with my distressed ink. It was white ribbon initially. Did the same thing for there. I need a new camera. This is just too blurry. All right. Oops. Here's another tag. On the back side. That's where I'll be writing. Again, all the pages are torn. And this one, I used some of the torn piece to, to put an edging on here. I'll probably add some more silver um, pattern paper uh, to these pieces somewhere in the embellishment. Maybe use my spellbinders to, to do some punches and some edges. I like the new edge ability, so that's going to be great. And there's this little sentiment. 
and the pattern paper on the back of that one. Again, the accordion, but this time it only has one accordion fold. So each side, this will be for the sentiment, this will be for the picture, this will be for the picture, this will be for the sentiment right here. That one. And it just has the um, Christmas thoughts on the back here. And then I'll put some photographs on this side. And again, for some more pictures. They're blank one. And that's the back of the book. Oops, I forgot. This one has the Santa stamped on it too. With Christmas thoughts on the bottom and then the pattern paper there. So that's my book. I hope you enjoyed it. And please share your book if you've decided to make one. I'd love to see it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.